You right, everyone? It's Acer here from Romany Custom Catapult. So as you can see, I'm showing you this build. I'm not laid it out on the table as usual. As you can see, the table is very wet and it's dark and miserable. I've come outside to try and get the colours out of this frame. So we've got a Velociraptor TTF left hand hold. It's been a while since I've uh, made a TTF Velociraptor. I find majority of people that shoot TTF prefer a pinch grip to a brace grip, but this is the best one I've done. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. Anyway, the build itself. Carbon back. We've got three layers of carbon. Two layers of G10. It's that theme that I've been going with recently. Because of the quality look. And the strength of it. You should be able to... There we go. You can see the two layers of G10. You can see the carbon layers. And then we've got a layer of red G10 just to back off from this 3mm piece of carbon on the front. So you've got 7 layers along there. 14mm frame overall, it's a nice thickness. And the face is this lightning strike carbon, which is red. Obviously the black carbon, and it's got aluminium through it. Which looks really good, you can just see that there. And then I turned a piece of it on its side to use as the spacer, which I personally think looks really, really good. Carbon pins. Shape-wise, it's a bit narrower here, and I've took a lot out of the forks here, so it just looks a little bit more slender and slim than the usual TTF ones. Now, I've countersunk quite deep, really deep. Now, the reason being for that is the rib nuts are the longest rib nuts I can get at 12.7 mil, which is half inch, but this is 10 mil. So by the time I put them in and countersink them a little bit, they don't really come out the end all that much. And I've come to realise the further you can get the rib nut to the edge of the clip, the better it works. And the reason being is these cups are aluminium, so if there's a gap before it hits the rib nut and you're tightening it, you tighten the bolt so much it pulls the rib nut into the hole uh, and it can eventually cause slipping. Uh, when I say slipping, not slipping from your band, slipping on the bolts when you're doing them up or undoing them, you know what I mean? So uh, they have to be replaced. So in putting the rib nut all the way in as far to the edge as I possibly can, it stops the pull. So yeah, that's basically the method in that. Alright, it might not look quite as good to have them countersunk right in like that, and it might be a bit harder to get your thumb in there and hold them while you're tightening, but at the end of the day, it's better. A little red optic, green would have probably looked better on this, but it is what it is. Obviously red suits the frame better, so... But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. God, I can't believe this macro's actually working today, wow! If Darth Vader was going to shoot a catapult instead of wielding a lightsaber, I reckon this might be the one that he'd use. So yeah, that's that. Right, it's been a while since I've shown my face on camera. Uh, I've got another catapult to finish today and a couple of crosses and another to do tomorrow and a couple of crosses and then I've got my last build to start before Christmas I'm hoping by Friday I'll be all done posted out I've got some stuff to do in the yard uh, and then just crack on with Christmas I do have a couple of builds I'd like to build over Christmas a couple of cheap stuff well I say cheap stuff you know entry level clip frames two layer laminates uh, one for a good friend of mine and another one which I don't know I've got someone up the road that I think wants to buy one so it's just a bit of extra beer tokens to be honest and then in between Christmas and the New Year, I'll do some more. Basically, there is no no stopping for the holiday period. It's just another weekend to me. A uh, weekend which I'm sure I'll enjoy. Eat lots of food, drink lots of beer, uh, and various other spirits. But it all should be good. I've also got a planned build for myself, which is going to be really nice. I've ordered the materials for it. Uh, very custom dimensions, which you'll see come up soon. And it's going to be part of a set. I'm going to build a set of frames for myself using various different 
designs, RCC designs, uh, as a kind of a showcase. So I've already always got something to show. But then I say this, I'll do them, and then I'll think of something else, and I'll probably end up selling them. But for now, I'll leave you with this baby, the Darth Vader Raptor. Cheers all, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.